word. Okay, so we are recording. All right, so uh, today is November 7th, 2016, and we're going to go over the Posh Pay Plan. I'm looking at one screen, but I have my camera on another monitor. So I will change the camera and we'll get started. Okay, so for some of you, you may not know who I am. I am Angela Ginter. I am a Platinum Premier above the Endless Possibilities team. Um, there is a difference between team and company, and we will look at that in just a moment. Um, to understand the pay plan better, we are going to look at the pay plan, and we're going to step-by-step step go through it. A lot of it is really easy to understand once you get to those levels and then when you're pushing for the next level um, it makes even more sense um, there is some formulas to figure out your pay so we'll be talking about that too so let's get started when you get started I want to write this down before I forget it um, okay so when you enroll with perfectly posh you are a protege consultant that means that you've not sold anything that you have not um, sold a thousand dollars in perfectly posh so you're a protege you are earning 20 percent commission off of your sales um, once you sell one thousand dollars in personal volume pv you bump up to the rank of pink you, once you hit the rank of pink, you can never lose that title nor that rank. You will now start earning 25% off of those, off of your PV. Um, for these two levels, you do get paid on Wednesday. So whatever you put in on Sunday through Saturday, you will get paid on Wednesday for those sales. And you will see that in your ProPay account, your Posh Pay will show you those, um, that amount and what you are getting paid on your sales. Um, pink plus one. Once you promote to pink plus one, that is your rank and they don't have a differentiation. There we go, there's some title, but okay. So um, at Pink Plus One, you're still getting paid 25% on um, Wednesdays of your personal volume. And then on the 10th of the month, you will see that extra 1% of your sales on the 10th of the month. To earn any level bonus, downline bonus, you have to have 500 each month in personal volume. So any level in Perfectly Posh, you must have $500 in personal volume that month to be paid on your team. If you don't, you don't get paid on your team. It's that simple. Um, your company volume, which I don't like how they've got this. I like to say it's team volume. Um, so your team volume and your company volume are the same until you get to about the premier or silver premier. And I'll talk to you guys about what the difference is between team and company in just a minute. Um, so to earn the rank of pink plus one, you need $500 in personal volume. You need 2000 in company volume and that company volume encompasses you in every single person below you, whether you sponsored them or not. That company volume encompasses you and everybody below you. It doesn't matter if you have 50 lines down, and we do call them lines. Lines are one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. And those are the lines below you. Um, and you must have a qualified frontline consultant. A frontline consultant is whoever you sponsored or whoever bumped up to you that is a level one on your downline report. And you'll be able to see who they are by going to your um, downline report. Are you guys able to see my screen still? Okay. Um, going to your report. 
you can click on advanced, click on my team. You guys are all going to be team until you hit premiere and levels. So there's levels. Um, so this is all my level one. You do not have generations until you become a silver premiere. So don't start even thinking about generations until you become a silver premiere. So you would click on levels and then you would click on apply. And this is going to show you all of your level ones. So that's going to show you all your level ones. When you go to figure out your paycheck, you're going to want to open up an Excel um, document. And I may not want to do this right now, but that's fine. I'm going to do it anyways. Um, what I like to do is to just run this report at the end of the month, and I will put level one, apply it, and then export it. Um, where do I want to put it? Monthly. And right now our right now our team volume is really low, but it'll give you an idea. Let's just do that. Okay, so um, you click on your level, level one, that's who you get paid on. And then you're going to open up that Excel um, and you're going to sort. And you're going to sort by custom sort. You're going to sort by title. And that's going to give you all the titles. Now you don't need PV, you don't need their address. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove all that so that you it's not too much to look at. Um, the only thing that you need is the title and their team volume. Those are the only two things that you need in this report to figure out your paycheck. So, basically, at a, where did I put that picture? Oh, here it is. Okay, um, let's make that a little bit bigger so y'all can see it. So if I was a pink plus one, I'm looking over here and it says on my protégés, I get paid 2%. Okay, so now you go over here and you look for your protégés and you get paid 2%. So you're gonna do equals this number times 0 0.02 because you're getting paid 2% on their total team volume. So that's how much you're gonna pay, get paid on their team volume, um, is 224 on a pink, or a protege, sorry. And then pink plus one, I'm getting paid 1%, whoops, 1% 1 on a pink and 1% on a pink plus one, so that'll be easy. Pink equals this times 0 0.01. Pink and a pink plus one, I get paid 1%. Now, if I was a pink plus one and I had all these pink plus twos and these pink plus threes in here, I'm not getting paid anything on them until I start to promote and work my business. So now you just add all of that up. And that is what you made on your team as a pink plus one. Okay? So you're always looking at, when you go to figure out your pay, you're always looking at the title, their title. And I may get this wrong. And I always do. Um, you're getting paid on... Their title, your rank. Their title, your rank. So, um, let me see. How do I how do I differentiate this for you guys? If somebody is a pink plus one, okay, that's their title. See, um, Marty's a pink plus one. 
Um, and I don't want to, I don't want to single her out. Okay, so if her title says pink plus one, that will never change. You will never lose your title. Now, when they go to figure out your pay, they're going to look at the rank. So if you did not get $2,000 in company volume, if you didn't get $2,000 in company volume that month, um, then you're just going to get paid as a pink. So you're only going to get paid 25% and you're not going to get paid on your pink plus ones or anybody else for that matter. Does that make sense? Is there anybody chatting or anything up here that I should know about? No. So you always get paid your rank, their title right here. To calculate how much you earn on the sales of consultants in your downline, you simply need to know your rank for that month and the title of each frontline consultant. You never lose your title, but you can lose your rank. So keep that in mind. Okay, so pink plus two, you need 4,000 in company volume. That's you and everybody under you, and you need two qualified frontline. Pink plus three, it goes up to 8,003. Um, Premier. Now the reason why they have these two columns for Premier, Hi, <laughs> Siobhan, <laughs> is because you and your downline, anybody, it could be anybody in your downline. Um, let's get rid of this. Um, it could be anybody in your downline. It doesn't matter what level they are at. If that person promotes to, and this could get confusing, but that's okay. Yeah. You guys can ask questions till you figure it out. Um, if, okay, so say Patty and I are on the same team, okay? I'm her sponsor, and she gets to $20,000 in company volume. If I don't have 6,000 outside of her company volume, I will not promote with her. And you'll see, if you're a premier and the person with you is a premier and your company volume is only at 20,000, you will not get paid on your premier below you. Okay, so you must have $6,000, and that's why they have the 6,000 here and the 20,000. You must have 6,000 outside of your downline premiere in any level, that premiere can be in any level, then you have to, um, you have to make up that $6,000 or you're just not gonna get promoted. Um, you can be a pink plus three for ever, and have a premiere under you, and once you decide that you want to start working and your team gets to 6,000 and your company volume hits 30,000, you can go from pink three to silver premiere in one month. So you always want to be looking at your downline, and you always want to, if you start getting a pink three under you, a pink two under you, you want to make sure that you have a big enough space between the two of you where you're not just counting on that person's team volume. Um, now, we do have the EP, the Endless Possibilities Company page, and we also have the EP team page. Every single one of you are on the EP company, okay? You're all in the Endless Possibilities Company, all of you. Now, the only people that are in my team are those that do not have a premiere above them. So when Jessie went premier, she took her team and broke off and became her own premier team. So here's Jessie, she got, has her own premier team, but she's still under the EP company umbrella. Her Team volume now goes into my company volume. And my team is this little house right here. So if you're in this little house right here, I've got to update my houses. It's been a while. If you're in this, if you're in this team, 
right here. This is the smaller group. This is the bigger group. Now, when you we start talking about generations, you, we get paid. Whoa, hey, where, where did that go? We get paid three generations down. So if you'll look, Jesse has Sarah Lucas under her, Maureen under her, and then I know Maureen had another premiere under her. So Jesse's my first, this is my second, this is my third. If Maureen had a premiere underneath her, I do not get paid on that premiere under her. It stops at three generations down. Does all of that make sense? Does anybody have any questions? You can unmute yourself if you have questions on the pay plan. If you have questions on premieres, if you don't understand any of it, um, let me know so I can explain it further. I, this is Jennifer, I have a question. So um, I went pink like mid last month. Okay. When does it change to 25%? Does it change the instant you do it, the first or like the 10th of the month? I know it's not updated like in my virtual office yet. You will get the back pay on the 10th of the month. Okay, so it would go into effect as soon as you hit that volume. Yes, now, okay. yes. So you're, okay, so it, even, okay, so if you started the month at a protege, right? you did $800, or if you did $200 last month and you did $800 this month, you're gonna get paid on that whole $800. Oh, excellent. Um, so that is one thing that I know other companies do not do. They wait a month and then they pay you. Um, so pink plus one, you're going to get that weekly commission of the 25%. And then on the 10th, you'll start getting that 1% on your, um, PV on the 10th of the month. And then you'll go in and figure out what your check is with those percentages. Now, let me say, 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 that the bulk of your team volume, company volume, will be from your sales up until you get to about premiere or silver premiere. So if you're out there and you're flailing and you're like, oh my God, I'm making it to these ranks, but it's just because I'm putting in two, $3,000 myself, that is okay. What you're doing is you're sharing posh, you're getting posh on those people that are going to eventually join your team. Those people are going to join your team and they're going to start doing the same thing. They're going to start to build their teams and then it will eventually increase. And it gets a little frustrating. I know from protege to pink plus three that your paychecks aren't that grand. I understand that. And I understand that it's, it, it's kind of, it's kind of defeating to see, um, but the faster you grow your front line, the better you are. Because one out of five people who join your team are going to be rock stars. The other three are going to just be little social sellers. They may sell $200 a month. And then one of them is going to sign on and they're going to do absolutely nothing for some weird reason, which makes no sense to me. If you sign on to sell Posh, you might as well get 20% discount. But... I'm not sure what goes on in those people's heads, but we've got lots of them for some reason. I guess they use the product and they never want to use it again. But again, that makes no sense to me. So um, our job is to get them doing their props as soon as possible. And our job as their sponsor is to get them into the academy as soon as possible. And to do that, all you have to do is question them and ask them where they're at in the academy. Um, ask them where they're at getting their launch party going. If they tell you, well, you know, I'm only here for the discount. Um, I do highly recommend that they do at least some sort of a launch party either in home or on Facebook so that they can get the products out there on people and let people decide if they want to order from them or not. Um, they don't have to do anything else after that. Um, I make it perfectly clear that I'm not here to push them and be pushy, um, but I'm here to at least get them that $500 in their first 30 days so they can get those 30 day props. Um, and I can't make them do it, but I can, I can certainly guide them and show them where to do it and how to do it. 
Um, so the faster that you get your people working, the faster you're going to promote, the faster you're going to be on cloud nine because your paychecks are growing. I mean, if you guys are out there not recruiting, you know, four months in a row, and then all of a sudden you recruit one person, how long do you think it's going to take you to get to premiere? It's going to take you forever. So you all want to make your goal. Um, if you want to promote and you want to start making the bigger paychecks, you guys want to be out there recruiting three to four people a month and earning the monthly award. Um, and I hope you all know what the monthly award is. Um, and I'll shut up for a minute so we can see if there's any other questions. I mean, with four people on the call, I don't think there's going to be many questions, but anybody who got questions? All right, well, hopefully um, this recorded and I can share it with the rest of the team. And um, that, that is all. All right, well, you all have a great night and I will chat with you all later. Bye.